That's the third caravan this week. Can you blame them? Who wants to live in a totalitarian state? Caravan? Migrants? More customer? Good for business! They're from California. And they're voters. Oh! Just a martini with two olives for me, please. As of 2019, the top three states Americans are leaving are New York, Illinois, and California. It's no wonder why. California ranks 49th for business tax friendliness. New York is 48th and Illinois is 36th. Almost all of the states which rank poorly on this index are bleeding citizens. And on top of being unfriendly for business, California, Illinois, and New York also have some of the least friendly tax policies for individuals. With California being the second worst state for individual taxpayers in the nation, even the movie industry is fleeing. Leave it to the government to make the most beautiful state in the country the most miserable to work in. Yep, even prior to COVID, 53% of Californians were considering joining the exodus. Good for them, just don't let them come to my state. Bob? Bob isn't alone in his concern about the voting patterns of migrants from California. California has the highest state income tax, the highest gas tax, they've all but outlawed private contract work, and there's so much red tape that 40% of the cost of a home in California is due to regulatory burdens. That's no way to run a state. Which is why everyone's running from that state. The truth is, it could be a good thing that people are leaving places like California, Illinois, and New York for low-tax, low-regulation states like Texas and Florida. It sends a very clear message to lawmakers. The problem is, none of them are listening. And if short-sighted voters keep bringing their bad policies with them, sooner or later, there won't be anywhere left to go. Another wave. They don't look like Californians. Thank goodness. Hey, where are you guys from? Uh, we're from Chicago. Yeah! Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Also, check out the links in the description because we bring the receipts. And leave a comment below. We'll see you on the next wonderful, exhilarating episode of Common Sense Soapbox. Check it out.